Defeat. You see that? I was reading a comic here. More specifically, a manga. And even more specifically, Rosario Vampire. By the way, they really screwed the manga in the anime. I could see why there wasn't a season 2 and it's pretty sad. Anyway, as I was peacefully reading the manga, it sparked an idea for this video. I was like, oh my god, I used to make comics. And now we're here. I have all my drawings and comics saved in this big dusty box underneath my bed. And... <laughs> God, do you see the dust? Holy shit, I'm gonna have allergies. And it did give me allergies. So going through this dusty box, I realized I made over hundreds of comics and other things. And I also remembered that I started making comics because of a movie called 30 Minutes or Less. Yeah, nothing like Diary of a Wimpy Kid or Garfield or any of those, you know, comics. All rated R movie was the inspiration for making comics. Oh, and a cute little fun fact. Making these comics also improved my English. But my grammar and spelling was still butchered, but come on, every kid's writing was horrible. So for any of you who isn't familiar with this movie, it was about a guy who got kidnapped and had a bomb on his chest. And these two thugs, well guys ordered him to rob a bank and bring back the money to them and if not they will explode the bomb and you know make him die but yeah i don't really remember the movie but that inspired the little me to start making comics i don't know why i don't know how i don't know why i was even watching the movie in the first place this movie came out in 2011 i was like nine years old but yeah i guess here's the comic 30 minutes or less <laughs> One. Stop crying. Mm -hmm. If I take out tape, will you shush? Mm -hmm. Okay. Help, help. No one can hear you. What? Wanna be free? Huh? No, then give me 1,000 pizzas. Oh, I guess I changed it up a little bit. How am I gonna do that? By stealing. No, that will be wrong. Of course I'll be wrong. Why? Fine. Okay. <laughs> if you run, I'll explode you. Go, go, go. Okay. As he's running. To be continued. And I didn't continue it because either I got lazy or I just didn't understand the rest of the movie. And then the next page was this. Oh my God. So after creating that comic, I started making one of my most iconic series called Stupid Books. It was about random stories involving me and my friends going into crazy adventures. And it was well received around the school. And when I mean school, I mean like the boys table. I didn't really get along with the girls because I was a quote unquote tom girl. But it was okay. I don't need them. I have the boys to support me. I remember trying to show them my comics and they were just like... You make comics? Isn't that a boy thing? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We're not interested in these comics. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I like her comics. So only amongst the boys is where I received positive feedback. So much so, I decided to start selling my comics for 25 cents or for one of those soda caps, which, by the way, I collected since my mom told me they were worth 50 cents. And I had a whole Fiji bottle full of them just for my mom to throw it out a year later. As my comics kept grabbing more attention from the other tables, of course other kids would get inspired to make their own comics, which I didn't have a problem with since they would have their own originality into it. But one kid who I'll call Jackson completely and i mean completely copied me so this is how i found out i was writing comics during lunch like i do every day and i see some kids gathered around the other table i was curious to know what's up so i walked up to them and i noticed a comic and i was actually excited to read it since i love reading comics from my classmates so as i was waiting my turn to read the comics i kept noticing the title of a very familiar title that i know and created so when it was finally my turn to read that's when i noticed 
The title of his comic book was called Stupid Books, but with two O's. And yep, it was exactly like my stories, it's just with him and his friends, of course. But exactly the same thing. No way, you gotta be kidding me. Let me roll some cute illustrations to give you guys some context. I made a comic about a teacher that had a super long neck, and I called him Mr. Long Neck. And if I find the comic, I'm gonna put an image right in the middle of the screen, and if there isn't, then I didn't find it. So this story was about me and my friends getting the tension because we were being bratty kids. Mr. Long Neck locked the windows and the back door, so we had no escape. So me and my friends were making a plan on how to escape the tension. That's where I pulled out a really big pair of scissors underneath my desk and cut Mr. Longneck's neck. So me and my friends escaped the classroom but then the police came out of nowhere and then we were sentenced to jail for life. That was it. That was the whole comic. So for Jackson's comic, it was exactly the same. Why would I explain his comic when I'm just gonna be repeating myself but instead of saying me and my friends, I'm gonna be saying Jackson and his friends. So you see why I was so tight? Man, I just wanted to punch his little dumb face. But of course I didn't. I don't condone violence. Are you kidding me? That is not me. Jackson, you mother effer. Why are you ripping off my comics um excuse me i'm not ripping off anybody okay maybe just a little bit B but my stories are way better than yours so as we were getting in this heated argument one of my friends came over and said hey guys why don't we settle this with a challenge the first one to finish 100 comics before the month ends gets to be comic king or queen Ah, that was such an easy W. To save you guys some time, I obviously won the challenge. I mean, come on, I'm gonna face against some guy who copies me. How am I gonna lose? And if I remember right, I think he made it up to comic 80. 80, guys. 80 comics. I made it to 100, of course. And since I felt bad, I didn't want him to sit there like a sad puppy. I have a heart, okay? So I told him, listen, man, your comics are pretty funny when they aren't stolen. And it's not like I'm the only one in the school that make comics. So keep doing your thing besides the stealing, and we will have no problem. <laughs> can, can I keep the title? Um, no. And you know what? Having a little comic rival was pretty fun. There wasn't just a comic queen in that school. There was also a comic king. Yay, friends! Woohoo! Some of you may be like, gee, I wonder if I can make a good comic. Well, you can with a great website called Skillshare and its amazing growing community with over thousands of classes. As you all know, Skillshare is widely known as one of the biggest online learning sites with teachers ready to help you discover or improve your skills. You can take classes from editing, business, music, photography, and more. Since this video theme was about comics, this class by Ira Marks will be your key to make a great comic. And hey, it's a beginner-friendly class. Which, may I add, these 22 lessons are all under 10 minutes and ad free. Over 9,000 people take this class and look at these projects. It could be one of you guys. Since it's beginner friendly, he's gonna give you the basic essentials from digital to traditional comic making. If you already know those, then this class isn't for you. Go away. So either you wanna take this class or explore Skillshare, you gotta be the first 1,000 to click the link in my description box to get a free trial of Skillshare. Skillshare will welcome you with open arms to make you a mega chad. Not only am I blessed with these glorious Apex, I am now filled with knowledge! Make sure you click the link in the description and thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video! One thing that I forgot to mention in the video is that the comic with the long neck teacher almost got me suspended. Some teacher came into the cafeteria and was like, <gasps> This is violent. I must report it to the principal's office. So I had to throw out most of my stupid books in the trash because imagine if that comic gets in the hands of that guidance counselor. He'll not only have quote unquote proof that I'm special ed, he would send me over to his therapist friend so he can diagnose me with some random shit. When I tell you that guy was sketchy, he was sketchy as hell. Of course, I'm gonna make a proper video explaining that whole entire situation, but I forgot to mention that. It was like kind of crazy. Like it could have happened. I'm just too quick with it, threw in the trash before that bitch came back. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, also, yes, that was real flema that I put in <laughs> the sketchbook. I don't know why I put it there, but I think I was proud that I just coughed out a big ass flema. I don't know. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, thanks. Bye.